quick turnaround means. Health South gets you back to work, to play, and to living. Everyone's working together to get things moving again. Here's our contribution. 0% financing on most Chrysler cars and minivans. And if you buy now, no monthly payments for 90 days. Now it's never been easier to drive home a new Chrysler car or minivan. So take advantage of these great offers. It's our way of helping move things forward again. See your local Chrysler dealer today. You'll find a whole store full of savings during the fall savings sale at Brahms. Save on all of your favorite flavors of ice creams and frozen yogurts. Any two half gallons for just $7. And our 51 ounce meter cheese lasagna, just $6.99 each. And from our bakery, cookies are on sale. And all breads are 99 cents a loaf. All of this and much, much more on sale now at your neighborhood Brahms ice cream and dairy store. When they need to get it fast, count on express mail from the U.S. Postal Service. The United States Postal Service is everywhere, so you can be anywhere. Get up early and get the latest news every weekday morning at 5.30 from KOTV, the News on 6, Oklahoma's news leader. Everyone, 833 is our time. I'm Leanne Taylor with a look at the top stories for this Wednesday, October 3rd. Is Oklahoma prepared in the event of a biological attack? Governor Keating says no. Speaking on CNN last night, the governor talked about his involvement in something called Dark Winter. It's a high-level war game held before the attack on America. It was designed to determine how Oklahoma and the U.S. would respond to a terrorist outbreak of the smallpox virus. Keating says it turns out leaders did poorly, and in their simulation, thousands of people died. Government leaders are studying new ways now to fight terrorist threats. The Feds cut interest rates by another half a point yesterday. It's the ninth drop this year, but that's not all that will help the economy. Hearings get underway today to come up with a stimulus package of about $50 billion. Both Treasury Secretary Paul O'Neill and Federal Reserve Chairman Alan Greenspan will go before lawmakers today. This news just in, Greyhound has halted all bus services nationally following a deadly crash earlier this morning in Tennessee. Witnesses say the bus crashed after a passenger slit the driver's throat. Authorities say the suspect was among six people killed in the crash. The investigation has now been turned over to the FBI. The bus was carrying 38 people at the time of the incident. The nation's two biggest airlines say they are ready to make cockpits more secure. American Airlines and United will begin installing steel bars on cockpit doors on all of the planes to keep intruders out. Other airlines like Alaskan and Continental are set to do the same to protect pilots and calm nervous passengers. American says it's already installed prototypes on two planes. The crossbar locking devices are designed to immediately secure the cockpit while the FAA continues to look at other security options. Police in one Oklahoma town blame a game called Capture the Flag for a rash of thefts in their community. Enid police say investigators have identified up to 10 people who may have stolen as many as 19 American flags over the past two weeks. The suspects range in age from 18 to 21. Police have received several tips in the case and the mother of one of the suspects found some of the flags. They're valued anywhere from a few dollars to $1,000 each. Prosecutors are trying to decide whether to file charges. Tulsa County prosecutors are working on charges for six people accused of operating a videotape theft ring in a half dozen cities, including Tulsa. Police say the team traveled to several states but never stayed in one town more than four days. Officers say they checked into a hotel, then spent their days stealing newly released videotapes. Would go in mid afternoon normally and hit start hitting the video stores. Uh, they like Blockbuster and Hollywood Video, and they would just go from store to store to store, in and out real quick real clean. Detectives say the ringleader of the team paid each person four or five dollars per tape then shipped them back to Texas. They're not sure what the tapes were used for after that. 
A Tulsa minister says he wants to become our next mayor. Carlton Pearson of Higher Dimension Church will officially announce October 16th he'll be running for the city's top job on the Republican ticket. He'll join Bill LaFortune, Ray McCollum, Chuck McKinnon, and Terry Simonson on the primary ballot. Paul Tay and Gary Watts are the announced Democratic candidates. Number three takes on number five this Saturday at the Cotton Bowl. OU takes on Texas and to get ready for the big game, we have a special edition of the Oklahoma Sports Blitz headed your way. The OU Texas preview this Thursday, 6.30. Don Holcomb and Dean Blevins, your host for the half hour show. Look for live reports from both Norman and Austin tomorrow night, 6.30 here on Channel 6. Meteorologist James Adelot has the American Meteorological Society's seal of approval. And here's the view outside. We still have a few of those clouds around, but not too many of them, just fairly thin clouds. We'll see a mostly sunny day today. We Probably a breezy day, too, with already the south wind kicking up 10, 15 miles per hour. Here's a look at temperatures around the state. Still 60 in Tulsa now, 61 Ponca City, McAllister up to 60. And you can sort of see these scattered areas of cloudiness that are generally working from west to east across the Sooner State today. Expect to see, again, mostly sunny skies through most of the day. We'll finish off the day with another day with readings in the 80s. If you're traveling, frontal system through the center part of the country, really stationary right now. It's not making much more southward progress, but as it continues to sit around our area, it will sort of lay in wait for the second front to come down from Canada. As it moves down, we'll see the colder weather move in here by late Thursday into Friday. Traveling today around the country, no major problems expected. Really no organized areas of precipitation in the southeast, the northeast, or the northwest. 50 degrees in Seattle now, Portland at 51, Boise, Idaho at around 47 degrees right now. Cloud cover and some shower activity. In fact, the most concentrated area of showers located in parts of the Sonoran Desert of southern Arizona back into northern parts of Mexico now, 79 in Phoenix. Future View shows that front still staying just to the north of our area. 84 degrees to high. It'll be breezy today, mostly sunny, with a few areas of clouds floating by, not many. 61 degrees overnight, a few more clouds build in. The second front comes through tomorrow afternoon. That gives us a good chance of rain and thunderstorms, especially by tomorrow evening. Until then, enjoy. South winds 10 to 20, a high of 84 degrees. 61 for the overnight low the next six days. Show that big change coming Thursday night into Friday. Friday, cloudy and cold, only 59 for the high, but the weekend, Looks very good. A little chilly Saturday morning, but highs in the 60s and 70s for the rest of the weekend. Leanne and Rick? Okay. All righty. Stick around. We have the coolest, neatest, hippest contest underway. I love this. It's a great idea. Right. Amy, Amy you're going to want to hear this. It's a very yeah, cool idea. Pay attention, Amy. Folks from Halsey's uh, have a great deal just for you, but hang up the phone.